Hi guys and I'm back with a collection video and today I'm looking at re-looking at my stairs collection. I've got a guest down here. What's up Caitlin? Well I don't know why it won't work. Maybe don't she's put messing around with her phone. Don't worry about it Caitlin, okay? Just do something else. Do something else, darling, okay? Uh kids. Pain in a bum. Yeah, I'm going to do my um, revisit my SNES collection, and uh, before I make a start on that, um, with my NES collection, I forgot to add one game which I already had as well, which was a Famicom copy. So it's a Famicom game, not as opposed to an NES game of Sweet Home. So that's one other NES type game which I've um, I had, which I forgot from my last collection. But anyway, I'll digress a little bit. Turn to the SNES. I've got approximately about. Uh, about 60 games I believe and um, and one game here which I've got in my collection but I can't get access to because it's a bunch of lots of stuff in my game room is a copy of the um, uh, Super Metroid on a SNES in the big box and with the you know, large manual stroke guide type thing so I've got that as well so there's another big box of SNES game I have as well uh, but without any further delay, let's get into the games. <coughs> Excuse me. The giggling is the mis mischief down there, little Caitlin. Okay, first game Advanced Dungeon Dragons Eye of a Beholder. All com box and complete. A, a nice RPG type game on a, on a system. Um, Alien 3, I love the movie and the game's quite good, very good in fact. It's hard but it's very good and the well, graphics are pretty superb. Some of my finer examples of graphics on the system. Another game which is quite difficult to find can box and complete. This is actually a German copy although it plays in English and that is um, Alien vs Predator. Um, Konami's Batman Returns. Um, I'm not sure how far superior this is to the NES version, I'm not too sure. I've got the t-shirt, I've also got the game, uh, Beavis and Butthead. Uh, this was also reported to the well, Game Gear, Mega Drive, even the Master System. Um, I'm not sure which is the best version of the game. I think it's 50-50 between the Mega Drive and this. I do have a Mega Drive version as well. And um, so that's the graphics. Bit of a 90s nostalgia there. But this next game I've showed in the previous pickup video. Um, it is the Japanese um, Super Famicom version. This only came out to the States and Japan. It never came out to Europe. Uh, so I had a choice of either spending quite a lot of money to import a, an American version or to go for a Famicom version or Box and Complete, quite cheap, it wasn't a lot of money and play it on my Retron 5 with uh, translation patches which is what I've done, done and so that's Chrono Trigger I've also got Chrono Trigger on the DS as well as on the PlayStation 1, which is an NTSC import. But okay, uh, okay, turning to Castlevania, Super Castlevania 4, followed by the Hard to Find Complete. This is just a reproduction cart and reproduction box, so, you know, to get a proper one will be very expensive. Castlevania's Vampire Kiss. Right, this game, um, it's uh, for some reason again down to European and British um, censorship. We couldn't have Contra, we couldn't have people like Rambo going around killing people, would we? But instead, we had to have robots going around killing people and aliens and everything else. And so, we had Cybernator. Again, by Konami. I tell you why, I'm, I'm, I'm I getting mixed up, Cybernator mixed up with. No, no, this is not to do with Contra, I'll take that back. Um, it was of course something else, wasn't it? 
uh, this is not a control game, it is a, a mech shooting game by Konami, that's what confused me, but it's not the um, the games, the, co the Contra games, it's not, so apologies for that, I got mixed up there. Okay, alright, this is a uh, reproduction cart and a reproduction box, again I don't want to spend the silly money at a, an official copy would cost, and that is Demon's Crest. A game that is hard as balls to play. I haven't got fire in it. Okay, time to D. Uh, Doom. I've always got this on the N64 as well as Jaguar. And also the Game Boy Advance, I believe. Okay, Disney's Goof Troop. Another Capcom game. That I said, uh, uh, I am a bit of a sucker for Capcom games, especially the Disney ones. Okay. Donkey Kong Country. Um, for some reason, this does not play on the Retron 5. I don't know if anybody else has encountered that issue or it's just something to do with the power Daddy. copies or not. What's up, Kate, then? I've been filming you all the way. Oh dear. You don't want to waste your memory on your phone or me. Country, Donkey Kong Country 2. And the third one, Donkey Kong Country 3. It's playing in the background. Um, yeah, this is they're all English copies. Okay, this is another game that is a reproduction cart. It's a special edition reproduction that, that is uh, basically a, a English version of the Japanese version of the game. If that makes any sense. It's a Japanese version of the game in English language. So it's got a few extra bits with that was cut from a North American release. It's on. It's in the special display box. So it's not a reproduction box, but a display box. Because the original box was much bigger because it was oversized because of the manual, but basically it's earthbound. Oh. Like I said, it's a Japanese version of the game, but well, English translated. Okay, a, a few, a couple of Kirby games, Kirby Dream Course, which I think is, I think it's got like elements similar to golf. I think this has. But I do like the Kirby games. There is another Kirby game on the system which I haven't got because it's a combination and I've got the Wii one so it's not needed really. Um, Kirby's Ghost Trap as well is another one that's unique to the system. Okay, this game is an American copy, I believe. I don't think it came out in Europe and that is Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures. Okay, get the classic racing game, F Zero. And Ghouls and Ghosts. Ghouls and Ghosts. Ghoul Patrol, which is a sequel to Zombies. Um, Zombies Ate My Neighbours, also known as. Um, I had that on the Mega Drive version, and so I've not bought the SNES one. I know SNES one's supposed to be slightly better, but at the end of the day, it's. Um, it's a fair bit of money and, uh, and I'd rather spend that money on other games really as opposed to getting duplicates. But that's Ghoul Patrol. Um, this is Just Dread based on an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie which isn't, isn't great. It's not terrible, I don't mind a movie too much. Uh, the newer one that came out a couple of years back is much better. It's well worth watching. Okay, okay we've got this RPG. Um, Mystic Quest Legend. I think it's part. This is part of the Final Fantasy universe. This is. I think it's like a simple one for kids. I think there was a sequel to that on the DS, I believe. I'm mean, not DS, so Game Boy Advance. Okay. Um, this is a reproduction cart with a reproduction box. Ninja Ga Gaiden Trilogy or Garden Trilogy, whichever way you pronounce it. So it saves me getting all the games on the NES. Again, these games are super hard. Uh, this game did not come out to Europe, I believe. I think it only came out to the States, if I'm right. No, I can't, no I'm not probably wrong on that. I think it probably did come out to Europe, but only certain countries, not England, I don't think. But anyway, Ninja Gaiden Trilogy. Okay, uh, Pile Up Rings, another sort of flight simulator type game.
Okay, we got Robocop versus the Terminator and Robocop 3. Now, these games, I think this is pretty much ported on any possible system going. Um, uh, it's a Prince of Persia and the sequel to Prince of Persia 2. Okay. Uh, Secret of Evermore, a classic RPG. One of the best ones to have in the system. Followed by another one, Secret of Mana. Okay, um, I'm a big fan of Deep Space Nine, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, so I had to get the game. Okay, this game, uh, for copyright reasons, they couldn't call it what they called it in the States, Star Fox. They said they called it Star Wing, uh, and it's got the Super FX chip. Okay, this game is a reproduction car and a reproduction box. Again, to get the original copy, just for a car alone, you're probably looking at £70 alone. No, and a box and complete one, probably about 150 if not more. And that is Sunset Riders. This is a very good game, hard game towards as you get, get further into it, but very good all the same. Okay. Now there's a huge amount of games for honestness that begin with the word super. Uh, so we had Super Godzilla by Toho. Again, not a particularly great game. Part of the uh, Eleste series, Super Eleste. Uh, this is a really good shooter. It's an original car I've got a manual, but it's a reproduction box. And Super Mario Kart, a must own on the system. Followed by uh, Super Mario World. And Super Mario RPG Legend of the S Seven Stars. This is an NTSC exclusive. Um, very expensive game to pick up these days. I got this about eight years ago, and even then it cost me a fair bit. Okay, Super R Type. I think there was another R Type on the system as well, which is very expensive. But um, it's a, a, a really good shooter, that. Right, these next three games, uh, my daughter had to go up playing this. She couldn't get very far, and they're very tough. And that's the Star Wars games on the, on the SNES. So we've got the first one, Super Star Wars, which you notice is JVC. And then Super Empire Strikes Back, which is THQ. And Return of Jedi THQ as well. For some reason, um, it depends, um, JPC and THQ had um, publishing rights of some, of some sort for the game. So some copies of these games are the J JPC copies and some are THQ copies. Um, there's no difference in the gameplay itself and I don't think it makes a difference to the value of the game either. So um, I've got one JPC, JPC copies and two THQ copies. So. Well, that makes a difference. Okay, we did get 18 inch Mutant Ninja Hero Turtles game. Again, that was a hero's bit there, and because of censorship, it couldn't be called ninjas over here. And it's a fourth one, Turtles in Time, all complete. Classic game to own, quite pricey to get, but really good to play. Um, not quite as good as the arcade version, but near enough. Okay, a couple of Terminator games. We have Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which is more of a traditional platform shooter. And then there's a third person shooter designed for the light guns, uh, the Super Scope. And I do have a boxing complete Super Scope that came with a car, which has a few demo type games on it. Uh, so, yeah. 
And that's T2, the arcade, if I let it show up properly. Okay, this is a double bill. Tetris and Dr. Mario. Alright, we've only got one Legend of Zelda game on the SNES, and that is a Legend of Zelda A Link to a Past. Quite sure we only got one. Okay. Quite an uncommon game. JRR Tokens with Lord of the Rings. Uh, I'm not too sure how good this game this is. Uh, it plays like an RPG, I believe. Okay, this is a classic on the system. I still need to get the sequel to this on the PS1. And that is with Lost Vikings. And a bit like the NES, we've got quite a few Simpsons games. We've got at least three out I know of. So it's the Simpsons Bart's, uh, the Simpsons Bart's Nightmare. Again, not a particularly great game. And Krusty Super Fun House. So this came out on both the NES as well as the SNES. And the Itchy and Scratchy game. Okay, we've got a couple of space flight simulator stroke RPG elements, I suppose, type game. It's more of a simulator, but more than anything else, really. And that is a classic Wing Commander. Followed by the sequel, Wing Commander with Secret Missions. I think there was about two or three game, Wing Commander games on the PS1. I know I've got one of them, I think there's another one or two I've got to get. Okay, this is a Japanese type fighter. It's a bit not very good, but it's, it's cool all the same. And that is Ultraman. Uh, a classic um, Doom uh, Doom um, predecessor um, came before Doom, and that is Wolfenstein or Wolfenstein with 3D. Um, yeah, the big daddy of all the third-person shooters out there, I suppose. And uh, last but not least, the classic Yoshi's Safari, which again is a is a a light gun type shooter developed for the SNES and Nintendo Super Scope. Okay, that's it, that's all my SNES games. Um, again, not the biggest collection, but bearing in mind that I've got them all, you know, boxed, and most of them are with the manuals, and most of them, about a good 95%, are actually original games. Uh, still, uh, you know, a quite a good collection, I would say, if I may say so myself, of the most must own games in the system. Uh, as before, guys, please leave comments, and if not, if not um, already subscribed, please subscribe. And and until next time, take care and bye bye.